The Vertex normal attribute came into Blender 2.92 and by 2.93 it was gone. It's a very powerful and useful attribute, especially when you're working with shapes that aren't like a perfect sphere or something like that. And that's where you could really make use of it. So I thought, why not make a quick tutorial just showing you how to create a vertex normal attribute. And uh, well, the first thing you wanna do is press Shift A, attribute, and we need to use attribute convert, here we go. And normally over here in the attribute section, you would look for the attribute, uh, vertex attribute of normal, but it no longer exists. You only got the normal. So we'll start off with the normal over here. And we will make the domain a point domain and we're dealing with vectors here. And our goal is to convert our normal into a vector normal for higher precision of accuracy. Next thing we need to do is press Shift A, attribute vector math, because we're trying to get the vector normal. And there's a few things we need to do here. Let's put this here. We need to change this to normalize for better accuracy. And what normalize does, it basically gives everything like a value of one, just makes it a little, a little bit more accurate. And attribute A will leave an attribute, but we do wanna change one thing here. We wanna add a string, shift A, input, string. And we're gonna call this our vector normal you can call this whatever you like, but essentially this would be your vector normal attribute. And currently as it is, it's nothing. But if we say that, if we look at our existing normal and we look for the vector point of our existing normal, that should give us our vector normal attribute. Boom. However, then we have to compute our vector normal attribute. We have to normalize the attribute which is quite important by itself. And by doing that, it, it makes it a lot more smooth and accurate. And then finally, we probably wanna just do, well, before we move on, I think we should just select all these objects here, press Control G, and we're gonna name this our vector normal normal attribute node. And you can always save this, this vector normal attribute node. And one thing we do wanna connect is this over here. So it works just as it did before. Now we can press tab and there you have it. And now we can just connect this string as in where we need it. And it's essentially that easy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create the vector normal attribute. And we can just do some cleanup here if it makes sense. So we can go to the node section and maybe just label this node our vector normal attribute node. Control A, Control C. And we can paste that there as well. We just expand upon it so you know what this node group does. And this string, where, for example, you would need to put a vector node attribute, you just, just connect this into it. Um, instead of just using a, a vector normal, you can, I can use, instead of just using a plain normal, you can use a vector normal. So instead of just using a face, you're now using a vector. Cheers.